Hey, y'all, stay with me. Stay with me. Y'all remember these right here? First time I had these whites. Had these shades on. Oh, I can see the fish in the water with these on right here. But y'all stay with me now. I had these shades on. These were going to be my Jackson State with the white shades. But when I was talking about the Alabama State game, I put these glasses on. And I told y'all I couldn't see the future. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I told y'all I couldn't see the future when I put these shades on, right? Woo! I found out. I found out these shades. You know what kind of shades these are? These are skin shades. You know where they wear skin shades at? Colorado, baby. I was just, look, stay with me. Stay with me. So I'm going to put my shades back on. So I'm trying to see the future right now. All right. A little birdie told me that uh, Jackson State, they going big. They ain't got a taste of that fame and that fortune and the excitement. They said, we ain't going back. Y'all know Coach Prime just got a defense coordinator. So that means I don't think T.C. Taylor going to get the job. Because T.C. is going to keep the defense coordinator, the defense coordinator. So Jackson State is willing to leave not just the number one defense coordinator and, and, and to lose, not, not not leave, to lose the number one defense coordinator in SWAC, but really the number one defense coordinator in the nation across all the boards. They wouldn't leave him out there. So Coach Prime said, give me that. Come over here because I know you've been in the NFL and coach and been around here. You, you got all kind of experience, experience and great health, wisdom. But JSU didn't want that. So Prime absorbed him, right? But a little birdie told me that it was somebody on campus. Just walk around. And he ain't from Jackson. Walking around. Just walk around. Looking around. Trying to see what's what. Because uh, Jackson State might have some up their sleeve. We will see, y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all who that person was. I heard his name was LaDamian Thomas. That's what I heard. And I kind of waited on this news because I had to get my source to call me. Like, hey, look, JSU, call me. If y'all got some, any of y'all colleges that I report about, if y'all got some, I got some, something in my report that ain't quite right, y'all call me on my business line, 850-209-9778. Call me on my business line anytime when you have some. Don't call me just to talk about what you and your baby mama. Don't call me about that. Don't call me about can we knock a whole $5. No. Just call me about news I can use. But I heard that Daniel Thomas is on, on, on campus. I don't know how, how serious he is about coaching. Um, I don't know if just Deion Sanders made it look good. And he's like, okay, let me. I can do the same thing. But I know he is a smart guy. I know he is driven, and I know he likes supporting the kids. I remember he did something with his his, his nephew or one of his family members that was playing for TCU. But, uh, but I'm surprised TCU ain't brought him in because if TCU brought him in and he was a running back coach, you know how many good running backs they could snag? So when I'm thinking about that, I'm like, how, how devoted is TCU into – Reaching back out to their old players. And this is a shot because they stole one of our recruits from JSU. This is a shot at TCU. How how dedicated they are to their old players or how dedicated is LaDainian Thompson about coaching. Because going back to TCU should be your first, like, pit stop to get. For me, that's what I would think. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave comments, like, and subscribe. We, hey, we on our, our uh, way to... A billion subscribers. <laughs>